Well, hello and welcome to the VK6CS Amateur Radio channel. Uh, let's do a quick comparison between a couple of auto tuners here. Now, this is um, just a, a relative uh, antenna current meter that I made some time ago. You may uh, you may recall it. There we go. It's got the little probe. Where's it gone? The little probe clicked on the antenna. And this piece of garbage camera isn't going to focus on it, but there it is. That goes down to there. I've got it. Uh, I've got the radio set for 20 watts output, and I've just set the indication to indicate 20 because um, it's just you know, sort of nice and linear, really, isn't it? It's got a nice linear feel to it. So what I'm going to do is uh, this is the SGC 230 auto tuner. That wire goes up and up and up and up and up onto the uh, onto the wire antenna. Yeah, it's focusing on the bush, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. And there's the probe, and there's the there's the wire antenna, and the relative antenna current indication is 20 microamps for 20 watts. So there we go. I've just got the uh, the paving stone on top of the uh, SGC 230 to protect it from um, uh, from the sunlight, uh, just to just to keep it cool, really. Um, it doesn't shake around when it's operating. <laughs> Not to the extent that it needs a, uh, a 10 kilo uh, paving stones sat on top of it, anyway. So uh, there we go. And uh, over here, I've got the uh, the ugly choke that comes around and goes into a homemade bias T, which then uh, feeds into the SGC 230. Now, this, what this homemade bias T is doing is we've got RF and DC coming along the coax, goes through the, goes through the ugly choke, wherever it's gone. There we go, through the coax here, into the bias T. And then out of the bias T, we've got RF that goes into the SGC230 auto tuner. And also there's a connector there that takes the 12 volts out into a connector uh, goes around about, but uh, goes into a connector there, and that connects the 12 volts into the SGC 230. Okay, so uh, I'm surprised my radio hasn't timed out, still uh, producing 20 watts. Okay, so that's the SGC 230. That's the relative antenna current indication from the SGC 230 with an auto tune on uh, on 40 meters with 20 watts going into it. So I'm just going to repeat the experiment. I'm going to remove the SGC 230 and I'm going to fit my shiny new MFJ uh, 998RT. There we go. I've got the I've got the uh, I've got the tail made up for it because of the bracket that's on it. It needs. Um, an elbow really if you're going to put it the other way up it needs an elbow elbow connector into it and there we go there's the there's the coax where is it <laughs> there's the coax there's the other end this camera is absolute rubbish isn't it I bought this because the other camera was really crap at focus anyway there's the other end of this it's a very short tail just hold it here there we go, and that goes down to there. So all I'll do is I'll take the coax out of the bias T because there's no bias T required for this auto tune. It's got um, it's got a bias it's got a bias T in it. Where's it gone? Yeah, transmitter transmitter and DC input. Okay, so that will just connect straight to the coax. That will just connect straight to the coax. <sighs> I'm going to throw this camera in the bin and uh, put 20 watts into it, uh, get it to auto tune, and see if I get the same relative antenna current as with the SGC 230, or whether it's better, or uh, or whether it's worse. Now, because this bloody awful piece of garbage, this Panasonic 770 camera, uh, doesn't have a pause button on it, 
I'm going to have to make another video. I can't just pause it and connect the other one up. So there'll be uh, another video um, showing the uh, MFJ 998RT connected and the uh, the relative antenna current from that with uh, 20 watts supplied. So all conditions will be absolutely identical to this one. And we'll see if we get an absolutely identical antenna current. As always, hope you found that interesting. Uh, many thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.